Toxgun released the new FP600 this year. Today, I will show you how to disassemble and assemble it. Tools we use are Toxgun's specialized toolkit. Firstly, take the liquid tank down from the drone. Loosen the fixed screws of spraying and spreading connecting cable with an M2.5 screwdriver. Unplug the cable connector. Disconnect all water pipes and centrifugal nozzle connecting cables around the liquid tank. Take the tank down from the drone main body frame. Next step, unscrew four fixed screws on the front shell with an M2.5 screwdriver. Cut off all cable ties of the drone with a diagonal cutting plier and take down all the ties. Unscrew all fixed screws on frame protection board with an M2.5 screwdriver. Disconnect all ESC power connecting cables and ESC signal lines. Take down feeder protection board with an M2.5 screwdriver. Disconnect all receiver and RTK signal cables. Take down fixed screws on the drone arm with an M5 screwdriver and AM10 socket wrench and take the arm down. Not to pull the internal connecting lines fiercely in case of pulling them apart. Unscrew the fixed screws of the ground following radar with an M2.5 screwdriver and disconnect the radar cable connector. Loosen the fixed screws on stand connecting parts and separate the stand from the main frame. Cut off all cable ties for water tubes on the tank bottom. Unscrew all fixed screws under water tubes and surrounding tubes on the tank with an M3 screwdriver. Unscrew all fixed screws of centrifugal nozzle connecting cables with an M2.5 screwdriver. Loosen all connecting tubes of quick connectors on the tank water outlet. Disconnect water pump connecting line from the spraying hub board. Unscrew all fixed screws on the spraying hub board with an M3 screwdriver. Loosen all fixed screws of water pump with an M4 screwdriver. Loosen all fixed screws on the water pump fixed mount with an M4 screwdriver and AM8 socket wrench. Take down all mount plates of weight sensors with an M3 screwdriver. Twist off the water outlet lids of tank sides then take out the sieves. Unscrew fixed screws of the water inlet lid and take out the inlet sieve of the tank. Disassembly steps of the liquid tank are as above. Unscrew fixed screws of the stand bottom part with an M2.5 screwdriver. Notice the slide of screws. Loosen fixed screws of radar mount with an M3 screwdriver. Take down the mount and unscrew its fixed screws. Whole process of stand disassembly are as above. Disconnect the centrifugal connecting cable. Take the water tube from a quick connector and loosen fixed screws of the centrifugal nozzles. Loosen the fixed screws of centrifugal projecting disc with an M2.5 screwdriver. Take down the projecting disc and separate fixed screws, then the upper and lower projecting disc could be apart. Unplug water tube of water outlet part. Unscrew four fixed screws on the water outlet part with an M2.5 screwdriver then water outlet part could be removed. Loosen fixed screws of the motor ESC module with an M2.5 screwdriver. Loosen fixed parts of the centrifugal nozzle terminals with an M3 screwdriver. Loosen the limit screws of bald clamp with an M3 screwdriver. Push out the fixed blade hinge pin with the screwdriver. Unscrew the fixed screws of blades with an M5 screwdriver and take down the wear-resistant gasket of blades. Loosen fixed screws of the blade clamp base with an M5 screwdriver. Cut off cable ties of cable protection case, take down the protection case and take out the receiver antenna. Loosen fixed screws of the motor protective cover with an M3 screwdriver. Take out tubes and centrifugal nozzle connecting cables with an M3 screwdriver. Loosen fixed screws of battery cover plate with an M2.5 screwdriver. Pay attention to the screw types. Screws of battery cover plate are self-tapping screws. Loosen fixed screws of the motor with an M5 screwdriver. Unplug the motor connecting cable. 
Loosen the limit screws of the motor fixing seat with an M3 screwdriver and loosen the lock screws of the motor fixing seat and take down the motor base. Loosen the ESC fixed screws and take down the ESC module with an M2.5 screwdriver. The whole disassembly process of drone arm are as follows. Loosen fixed screws on FCU with an M2.5 screwdriver and unplug all connecting cables on FCU. Loosen fixed screws of FCU wiring plate with an M3 screwdriver. Unscrew fixed screws of FCU with an M3 screwdriver. Loosen fixed screws of ESC signal bus with an M2.5 screwdriver. Pull out the RTK antenna rubber case. Loosen the fixed screw of the RTK rubber base with an M2.5 screwdriver. Take out the RTK antenna. Take out RTK antenna from rubber base. Take down the RTK antenna from the RTK rubber case by pressing the RTK antenna. Loosen the fixed screws of UPS with an M3 screwdriver and take UPS down. Loosen fixed screws of radar bracket and FPV module with an M4 screwdriver. Unscrew fixed screws of the weight sensor with an M3 screwdriver then take down the weight sensor. Disconnect PMU connecting cable. Loosen fixed screws of PMU module with an M3 screwdriver. Take down the PMU and pay attention to not losing the gasket under the fixed screws. Unscrew all fixed screws of the body frame with an M4 screwdriver. Disassembly process of body frame are as follows. What above is the disassembly video of FP600. Next, I will introduce and explain the whole process of FP600 assembly. Firstly, we need to install the liquid tank and steps are as follows. Install the tank sieve and water outlet lid and to wrap the water outlet with Teflon tape so as to prevent liquid drip and leakage. Install water inlet sieve and tank lid and tighten tank lid with an M3 screwdriver. Install weight sensor mounting plate with an M3 screwdriver and M4 screws. Install water pump mount with an M4 screwdriver and an M8 socket wrench. Pay attention to installing vibration damping gasket of water pump mount. When install the spray HUB, we should notice that the position of big plug should face the large weight sensor mounting plate. Use an M3 screwdriver and M4 screw to tighten the spray hub. Install water pump with an M4 screwdriver and M5 screws. Remember to install the vibration damping gasket of water pump and differentiate left and right water pump. Install water pump connecting lines and distribute centrifugal nozzle cables to their respective positions. Remember to differentiate the connecting cables of front and rear centrifugal nozzles. Screw on the centrifugal nozzle connecting lines on the pesticide tank with an M2.5 screwdriver and M3 screws. Tighten up water tubes with an M3 screwdriver and M4 screws. Remember the water tube arrangement and the difference between water inlet and outlet. Connect the pneumatic quick connector of water inlet to the water tubes well. Then the installment of liquid tank is finished. Then we will install the stand. Install the terrain following radar on the stand and tighten the radar with an M3 screwdriver and M4 screws. Remember that terrain following radar orientation needs to face the mount gap. Install the terrain following radar on the crossbar. Tighten the terrain following radar with an M3 screwdriver and M4 screws. Install the stand T-junction on the aluminum stand. Remember that the upturned face stays upward. Install the crossbar and tighten the fixed screws on T-junction with an M2.5 screwdriver and M3 screws. Install vertical carbon tubes on the stand and tighten them with an M2.5 screwdriver and M3 screws according to the limit. Then the installment of stand is finished. Then we will install the drone arm. Pass the ESC cables through the drone arm. Pay attention to installing the wear-resistant rubber ring thoroughly. Tighten up the ESC module with an M2.5 screwdriver and M3 screws. 
pass through the receiver antenna, centrifugal nozzle connecting line and water tube through the drone arm. Remember to tell the difference between 1 to 3 motor mount and 2 to 4 motor mount. Tighten the limit screws of motor mount with AM3 screwdriver and M4 screws. Tighten the lock screw with AM4 screwdriver and M5 screws. Connect the motor and the ESC connecting line. Tighten the motor with an M5 screwdriver and M6 screws. Tighten the ESC cover with an M2.5 screwdriver and M3 self-tapping screws. Install motor protective cover and tighten the cover with an M3 screwdriver and M4 screws. Tighten the centrifugal nozzle rubber connector with an M3 screwdriver and M4 screws. Pay attention to the rectangular gasket when installed. Tighten the driving module with an M2.5 screwdriver and M3 screws. Install the centrifugal pan with an M2.5 screwdriver and M3 screws. Pay attention to match the centrifugal limit with the driving module limit. Install the centrifugal nozzles on its corresponding connector. Tighten up the thumb screw. Connect the water tube and centrifugal nozzle connecting cable. Then the installment of drone arm is completed. Install the center frame. Number 0 is drone head direction, drone tail direction is 3. Standing at the back of drone, then left is 1, right is 2. Install frame wiring cover clip in the frame and tighten it with the main folding part. Tighten the fixed screws on the frame with an M4 screwdriver and M5 screws. Tighten the metal connector of the mount with an M4 screwdriver and M5 screws. Tighten the pulleys with an M3 screwdriver and M4 screws. Pay attention to the pulley position and install it underneath. Install the stand on the body frame and tighten the lock screw of the stand connector with an M4 screwdriver and M5 screws. Fix cables inside the drone arm with cable protective case and fix them with cable ties. Install the drone on the body frame with an M5 screwdriver and M10 socket wrench so as to tighten fixed screws on the drone arm. Pay attention to internal cables and don't cut off or damage them. Install the avionic module with an M3 screwdriver and M4 screws, then install avionic wiring board support. Pass the RTK antenna through the RTK fixed rubber base and main folding part. Tighten the RTK fixed rubber base with an M2.5 screws and M3 screws. Remember to add gasket to the screws. Install the RTK rubber case on the RTK antenna and fix the RTK on the rubber base. Tighten the UPS with an M3 screwdriver and M4 screws. Tighten the radar mount with an M4 screwdriver and M5 screws. Tighten the rear obstacles avoidance radar with an M3 screwdriver and M4 screws. Tighten the rear FPV module with an M4 screwdriver and M5 screws. Tighten the weight sensor module with an M3 screwdriver and M4 screws. Pay attention to the number sequence of weight sensors. Connect all the cables of avionic module correctly. Tighten all fixed screws of cables with an M2.5 screwdriver and M3 screws. Tighten all ESC connecting cables well. Fix cable ties on all cable tie fixing positions. Arrange all cables according to the cable layout sequence and lock the lines with cable ties. The specific cable layout picture can be reviewed in this video. Connect all feeder lines and tighten the wire protected card with an M2.5 screwdriver and M3 screws. Fix connecting cables of terrain following radar on the stand and fasten extra cable on the crossbar. Tighten the motor with an M4 screwdriver and M5 screws. Install ignition preventing module correctly and connect the positive and negative ends as well as all cables probably. Install the frame protection board with an M2.5 screwdriver and M3 screws. Install ignition prevention module with an M3 screwdriver and shoulder screws. Pay attention to adding gasket on the screws when install. Install the tank on the drone and connect centrifugal nozzle, connecting line and water tubes correctly. 
Pay attention to differentiating the front and rear centrifugal nozzle connecting cables. Install the spring and spreading connecting cables and tighten them with an M3 screwdriver and M4 screws. Tighten the front housing with an M2.5 screwdriver and M3 screws. Tighten the blade clamp base with an M5 screwdriver and M6 screws. Install wear-resistant gasket on the baldies and tighten them on the clamp. Pay attention to aligning the central hinge pin with the limit. Tighten the blades with an M5 screwdriver and M6 screws. Fix the blade clamp on the cylinder sleeve and install the blade clamp on its base. Then insert the hinge pin in the clamp and tighten the limit screws with an M3 screwdriver and M4 screws. All above are the whole disassembly and assembly process of FP600.